America's largest mental hospital is a jail. This is in reference to Chicago's Cook County Jail, but problems like this persist across the country. Individuals with complex health cases, such as mental illness, substance abuse, and chronic illness, are disproportionately represented in the criminal justice system. This is a theme our partner, Johnson County, Kansas, is committed to fighting, and why they've partnered with Data Science for Social Good for the second year in this mental health initiative. Johnson County is the most populous county in Kansas and is just south of Kansas City. When we visited, we came across a story that really illustrated how we hope mental health and criminal justice systems to interact. The story is of a 19-year-old male. He has autism and intellectual disability. And he has over 100 police interactions, including breaking property and grabbing at police officers. Yet, he has only one booking. And this booking is largely regarded as a failure because jail was not the most appropriate nor effective solution for him at the time. This is the goal of our project. We want to prioritize individuals with high risk of returning to jail within a year and divert them instead to mental health services. Johnson County has already established a team to do this work, but they're reaching out to the community through largely reactive means. They want to use data to be more effective in choosing the people that they serve. They want a predictive model from us that will output the top 200 people with the highest risk of going to jail within a year. To build this model, they gave us access to six different data sources. We're using data from the criminal justice systems, from jail, police departments, and Department of Corrections, as well as data from public health, emergency medical, and mental health services. One reason why Johnson County hasn't built this model before is because this data has never been linked at this level. Um, and, and so previously, DSSG had, never, had only half of these sources. Employees within Johnson County don't have access to this overview level of data. But when we combine these six sources, it really helps us capture the multidimensionality of individuals. Take this person, for example. When we just look at the jail data, we're able to see a bit of a pattern emerge for him. Our task is to predict whether or not he has a booking within a year of a certain date. When we add in the rest of the sources, we are able to see the full picture and our model correctly predicted that he would go to jail within the year. Information like this will be put into production through the outreach team. We'll give them a list of the top 200 people with the highest risk of going to jail within the year, along with a timeline of events that led up to that risk score. This will help the outreach team better tailor their outreach to each individual. Members of the outreach team are the only people in Johnson County that will have access to this information and risk score. Our model predicted the top 200 people with the highest risk of going back to jail. If we selected these 200 people randomly, we would be correct 16% of the time. An expert-based model using age of first booking and number of total bookings is, is, pers is accurate 40% of the time. Our model out of the top 200 people correctly predicts who will go back to jail 72% of the time. This means we're able to correctly identify almost twice as many people with high risk of jail bookings than the expert-based model. On a yearly scale, this means we correctly prioritize mental health outreach for over 1,700 individuals per year, whereas the expert-based model only reaches 950. Moving forward, Johnson County will continue to work with the University of Chicago and will implement our model through their system by 2019. Since there is no proactive system in place right now, we hope to see reduced jail and thus decreased jail costs, wherein the saved money can go and support proactive programs like this and help improve Johnson County as a whole. Thank you.